Should you only be eating 1,200 calories a day? That's the question of the video. Uh, somebody mentioned this Furman guy. I was trying not to ever make a video about this guy again. I don't even want to give him publicity. But uh, what he says in this video is so cringe. If somebody is selling you supplement, run for the hills because they're just selling you. You've been sold. And if you don't realize that, then you're just as foolish as the person selling it to you. Uh, anyway, my name is Ryan. This is High Carb Regenerator. Uh, welcome to my channel. Let's get into this. Welcome. I've lost two pounds in 13 days. If they've lost two pounds in 13 days, they're not doing the program. How do you know? How's, what's the relevance? Because they should have lost four pounds, oh. a minimum of four pounds in 13 days. So they're doing something. Mm. I want to lose 18 more pounds to get to my area weight. I'm still in the habit of over. Why is that? Like, why, what, I see people have these, some of these goals in mind. Maybe your body isn't built to go to that 18 pounds. Like some people see Asian women or, uh, you know, like women see Asian women and they're like, well, I want to be that weight. But, you know, it's just not genetically possible. Or, uh, you know, I've had, I, he doesn't, he doesn't really comment on my channel anymore. I think he finally gave up, but, uh, I had a guy that was 155 pounds that wanted to get down to 140. I'm like, maybe you genetically cannot do that. So what is the context here? What's the backstory? We're eating. Right. Huh. I followed the autoimmune plan, but I took the more beans and a little bit more nuts to feel more satiated. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a good plan. Beans and nuts in that gut. I mean, uh, speaking of which, everybody wants to make uh, me to make a food combination video. I'm going to hopefully be doing that for Saturday. I'm going to definitely try to go live tomorrow for a whole lot longer than I did last week. See, that's the thing is you're used to taking in more calories. So mm, yes, you got to starve yourself now. On my, but take your supplements because you're starving yourself. It's not just you have to get used to eating the right amount of calories mm -hmm. and you're not yeah so you can't feel the same way you used to feel it's going to take some while to get adjusted to it yeah That's it's going to take some a while to adjust to starving yourself you're going into an anorexic phase you're going to be anorexic just just hold on just hold on you're going to get there that's why you have to i mean <clears throat> Um, you know, that's why people I actually was going to stop making videos in this whole food world for a little while, but seeing stuff like this, I just, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I have to have some kind of guidance here. Right. And the guidance guidance is to starvation, two pounds a week of weight loss. Mm. And it says the guy who a is selling supplements and B has never been overweight in his life. If you and if you're taking in, let's say. 1600 calories a day and not losing two pounds a week. I mean, look at it. He is so lethargic. Uh, I'm supposed to stay here. Uh, if you're taking in 1500 calories a day, do you know? I'll be right back. I'm going to have to edit. I, I was trying not to edit this video. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, shouting. All right, I'm back. So I wanted to show this before we really get it more into this. So the FDA, if you can trust them, right? Average for a toddler of one to three years old is 1300 calories a day now i don't know if you know this is still the, the breastfeeding range i believe i don't know i haven't really dealt with kids but uh do you ever just say to your kid all right you've had enough like you look down you you've had enough i've counted your calories you've had enough and you you know pop them off or whatever whatever the hell that shit's called and you uh you just like let them cry. You know, they got to starve themselves. They got to get used to it. Do you do that kind of stuff? No. Why, why would you do it to yourself then? I know you're not sucking on it. Probably not. Well, maybe I might, you know, during the day, but sucking on titties anymore, but you've still got to eat calories, right? We cut back to 1500. If you're at 1500, not losing two pounds a week, cut back to 1400. You know, at 1400, not losing two pounds a week, cut back to 1300. You've got to know the exact amount of each meal you're supposed to be eating. You're not so basically destroy those thyroids of yours, right? Um, take my supplements, take ca uh, caffeine instead of calories to get where you need to go. Well, you'll lose the weight maybe in the beginning, but uh, don't call me when you gain like 200 pounds back. Just, you know, it wasn't me. It was you. It was your self-will. You did it to yourself. 
not supposed to be eating, ever eating till you're full. Wow. Mm. Yep. We got full on right here. We, we shouldn't be eating. We should be eating between 400 and 500 calories a meal. And most women who need to lose weight should be uh, striving about 400 calories a meal, but they should never go over 500 calories. Never. You should never know. And you should chew. Never. You should never know you have a stomach. Oh, my God. Cut that stomach out, right? Cut that stomach out, but don't cut all of your stomach out because I need you to take my supplement. In other words, how does your liver feel today? How does your pancreas feel? How's your kidney doing today? Well, it's feeling fine. I don't even feel my kidney. I don't even feel my liver. Of course, then you shouldn't mm. feel your stomach either. Well, you're going to be dead if you keep doing this. So I might not feel any of it. Point. I mean, you're going to get anorexic. You're going to have so many issues with this. I don't, I actually wonder if keto might be better than this guy. And I guarantee. People are going to be down in my comments. He helped me so much. Blah, 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 blah. I'm only eating 1,200 calories a day. And I, I, uh, uh, uh what, what was I saying? Oh, I, I, I drink so much caffeine. Uh, oh, wait, but, you know, he says it's good. It's ridiculous. Shouldn't and then so on top of the fact, if you really watch this guy, he wants you eating fruit. Something, is it fruit? Uh, on top of, with nuts on top of that, with some beans on that. And then <laughs> put a potato on top of that and have a little bit of salad. Uh, and just mix that all up, put it in a blender maybe, and then drink it down, but don't have too much. Don't have too much. Uh, don't want you to have energy. Take my supplements, have some caffeine. I haven't had any caffeine in probably 15 years or something like that. <laughs> Do I sound like this guy? Oh, 1300. Oh, you're still not losing like, wait at that. Oh, maybe 1200. Yeah. Um, because he, do he doesn't have to see you, right? He doesn't have to see you dying, uh, you know, in front of him. Man, I'm fired up about this one. I'm just so sick of this because, you know, people who followed this, I followed this back in the day. You see how bad my thy my, my hormones get all the time from idiots, following idiots like this. I hope he sees this video and wants to do an interview with me because that would be phenomenal. But if he does, you probably just copyright stuff. strike me because he doesn't want the truth stuff. out there. You're, you're People are addicted to chronically overeating and they move to a nutritarian diet and they're still chronically overeating. Mm, chronically over. Okay. This person is an automatic habit of overeating. What do I do to break this negative habit? Yeah. At the same time, I'm realizing I'm in transition. It's, it, I'm, I'm surprised, actually, that people like this Berman dude don't have people writing in there like, I think I'm breathing too much. <laughs> I think I'm breathing too much. You know, how do I, how do I cut back on that? Or like, man, I, I just repeat three times today. <laughs> I just can't take it. Why does it happen? Or like, oh man, I took a dump like four days ago. Feel one coming on. Can't tam I, I can't take it. Just in phase right now. You have to start this all over again right now because you're doing it wrong. Yeah, start starving yourself because even right now, harder. You set out to you the salad bowl and one bowl of soup and one piece of fruit, and that's your lunch. <laughs> Why would you, why would you eat that? Why would you food combine like that? Why would you do it? Mm. And you have to set out your dinner. You know, you have to mm. use the guidance of what we're doing here. Yeah. And you have yeah. to realize it's not only about what you're eating. It's about eating the right amount. And yes. And causing yourself severe bloating. So you can't eat anymore. Before you allow it to swallow. Mm. If you chew things too fast. You're yeah. Start you're just going to be too hungry. You know, it's gonna your body's stupid. What he's telling people is, all right, your body's an idiot. It has no idea what it's talking about. Uh, buy my supplements. Um, it has no idea what it's talking about. Uh, let me guide you, right? You know, you, those hunger pings, they're stupid. They got you through all of, of uh, millennia that we've been through. They're stupid. They didn't, they didn't know what they were doing. Um, stop eating. That's it. Stop eating. The only good thing about, you know, I'm not going to get to that. I'm really going to get it. You're not giving yourself a chance nope. for nutrients to be absorbed. No. Nope. So the apostat in the brain turns down your, your desire to overeat food. So I want to make sure I'm going to be sitting next to you. Imagine me sitting right next to you while you're eating lunch. And I'm saying to you. Don't if he was sitting next to me during lunch, I would just, I would eat his food combination chart. Exactly how he, he has it in there. I mean, the gas that I would achieve with that. And I would lock him in the room, right? Mm. Yep. It would. Uh, swallow that. Put it in your mouth, but don't swallow it. Make sure now you can nod your head. If it's kind of like um, telling somebody like, I know you can't swim. I know you can't swim. But don't go near that water until you know how to swim. This is the kind of logic that this guy has. Don't go near that water until you know how to swim. <laughs> that's, the, that's the logic we got here. It's completely liquefied before. So try to resist swallowing. Just keep chewing. 
Don't swallow. Just keep chewing. Don't swallow. Mm. Now, let me know. Is it all liquid? Some people like swallowing. Nothing there but a liquid. If they start to swallow some of that liquid, if there's no particles of food in there, chew it like 30 times. Make sure you're really getting that mm. to liquefy because this is going to take you a while to eat this big salad. It's a nine-inch salad bowl. We're not Ooh. eating thimble-sized portions nine of inches. food. But, you, but if you're not losing weight and your calorie count in your diet should certainly be between, let's say, 12 and 1,400 calories. You shouldn't be eating 16 to 1,800. So basically less or the equi- equivalent of what a toddler eats. And everybody's going to be like, well, they're they're growing. They're growing. And blah, 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 whatever. <clears throat> they're just, they, they are growing, but they're literally just sleeping and shitting and like crying. They're not dealing with their day to day, the day to day like you are. Not losing two pounds a week, getting that twelve to fourteen hundred range. Not going, you know, at four hundred calories a meal by eating, you know, big portions of green vegetables, chewing it really well, mm. and having the normal salad, one bowl of vegetable bean soup, and one piece of fruit for dessert. That's your main meal. And your dinner meal is also a bowl of vegetables, a bowl of vegetables, and one fruit serving for dessert. And then, of course, you can have an unlimited amount of raw vegetables when you start out the meal. And you still the nut and seed cuts is. Constant. I'm actually being put to sleep here. I I, I can't I can't take stupidity. I, I I can't listen to this anymore because I don't want the stupidity to come out of like what I'm hearing and like leech onto me. I don't I don't want any part of it. But let's watch freely. Uh, the reason I'm watching this binge eating thing is because this is what you're going to be doing on ferment. I guarantee it. You might make that uh, diet for even a year, maybe a year. But at some point, maybe two years, at some point, you're either going to be anorexic and almost dead, or uh, you're going to be completely bloated all the time, can't function on caffeine all the time and taking a supplement still, or you're going to be binge eating, probably binge eating with all three. Uh, yeah. Four, but if you want. I don't know if you can be anorexic and binge eat, but I'm sure if you're on Furman for long enough, you'll figure it out. Want me if you want to see a new video on this topic, then let me know in the comments below. And I'm currently consulting people right now, but I have one spot available of coaching nope. this cycle. That is marketing 101. I'm only showing her because she eats unlimited. So if you're keen, let me know, contact me on Instagram or follow the link below in, in the description and we can discuss more about it. You're not weak. You are not crazy. You're not undisciplined. But you are undernourished, mm. undereducated, and underprepared. Binging is actually a beautiful thing. Yep. That's right. I said it. This is what people don't realize. It's a beautiful thing because it's your brain trying to protect you from life threatening deficiencies and ultimately death. Yep. By pushing the that, I mean, I can only imagine the toll that the health toll that this Furman guy has caused. I can only imagine. Urgency to eat upon you. So you must remember that we have a very large requirement. I mean, even if you don't have severe health issues, you're probably borderline catatonic like he is your entire life. I meant for carbohydrates, namely glucose and fructose, the god and the goddess molecules. So if you don't get enough of this sugar, of this carbohydrate into your system, then you are going to binge along with fiber and water very important binge busting trifecta so binging notice what she's not selling she's not selling supplements i can't figure out why maybe it's because she's telling you to eat the amount of food that you need to eat maybe you are going to gain weight in the beginning maybe you, it's going to take you it took her four years to get to whatever this is and uh <laughs> at least you have energy you know you have a sex drive your uh, sex organs actually function you don't need caffeine 24 hours a day you don't need uh you know the supplements now people do hit up uh, hit up the vegans like well you got to take supplements blah, blah 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 but uh if you really look at b12 and vitamin d it's something like 30 to 40 percent of all humans are b12 and vitamin d deficient if not more and i would venture to guess it at most at most, the population of vegans on this planet is maybe 1% to 2%. So those two in particular, it's just because we're too sanitary with the B12, which I don't, I don't do. If I, I don't clean potatoes off. 
So I, I actually usually have a decent B12 uh, and vitamin D. I mean, what, what am I going to do? I mean, you know, look how white I am right now. You know, I was out in the sun all the time. I don't get a lot of sun until, you know, now, this time of year. It is your brain's way of protecting you. You heard it here first. It's a beautiful thing. As far as nutrient intake goes, not many people know this, but glucose and fructose deficiency are the most life-threatening deficiencies that you can develop. So It's called hypoglycemia, but there is no hypo... Uh, lipidemia or whatever, and there is no hypo uh, uh, new, uh, what, 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 nitrogen, whatever that would be called. It, it doesn't exist. It's not possible. Well, I assume it's, it might be possible in like a severely starving person, but you haven't seen anybody at a marathon passing out or like, you know, having a completely bonking because they ran out of protein or fat. You haven't seen that because it doesn't happen. The brain must protect you with a binge. I'm a fruit-based nutritionist, and these are my five tips to stay overweight and binging for life. Number one, firstly, eat like a four-year-old as an adult. 14 to 1800 calories is fine. Eat Performance says it's great. He didn't even say 1800 calories. That's a little too much. We don't want to go that high. I mean, you know. Hold back on them calories, you know? Even though you'll eat that much in a single binge, popular diets recommend you eat this for the entire day. Entire yeah, day. Entire day. You see it even in the bodybuilder magazines. These these dudes and, and everybody's like, oh, well, he only ate fifteen hundred calories today. I must do it. You know, it's ridiculous. First of all, these guys are on so much anabolics, it's not even funny. Second of all, they're usually like five six or five seven, so they're tiny. And and third of all, they're binging in the in the back corner. It's just <laughs> oh. The USDA recommends this for a four to nine year old child. This will definitely keep you binging. Oh, this is a chart that I was actually trying to find. Pause the video right there, and there's a chart that I was trying to find. I couldn't find it. I think the FDA doesn't want anybody to see it anymore. Maybe Furman bought them out. Number two. With his supplement Center your sales. diet around high-fat foods. Even though you can eat more than double the amount of carbohydrate at four calories per gram versus nine calories per gram of fat, the goal here is to stay overweight. So high-fat foods are a must and will give you a bonus glucose deficiency. This will definitely Don't forget to add your nuts in with your beans. Just, I mean, it's wonderful. If only you could fill the gas tank on your car with the gas that you can produce on Furman's diet. Cause you to binge hard and store fat efficiently. Number three, don't change your diet and eat more carbohydrates. Go to a therapist instead and try to talk your way out of binging. After yeah. all, your basic physiological needs. Talk to your stomach, man. It works every time. Like, why did you do it, man? It's kind of like if you're going bald, like what happened? What held it in yesterday? You know, why did this hair stay in yesterday and it's not today? Don't matter as much as your childhood. Number four, foods without fiber, water, and carbs are your go-to as they don't stretch the stomach or fill you up. Yeah, you shouldn't know you had a stomach, according to Furman. You shouldn't even know that you have a stomach. You shouldn't know you had kidneys. You shouldn't know you even have a liver. That's his diet. It still give you loads of fat, which adds effortlessly to your fat stores yep. and will leave you instantly hungry for more. It's called fat for a reason because that's where it's going to your fat. Number five, pretend there's no such thing as bad foods and try to fool yourself into thinking you can eat anything and everything in moderation. Oh, yeah, there this we go. This will definitely moderation. create deficiencies that will be met. <laughs> Moderation is like mediocrity. If you always want to be mediocre in life, live moderately. If you always want to be somebody nobody, be, nobody remembers, somebody that nobody wants to talk to, somebody that nobody cares what they're doing, live in moderation. If you want to be overweight, if you want to struggle in life, if you want to have like no goals whatsoever, if you want to just fit into the system, be moderate. With a huge ass binge. Why do you think fat <clears throat> is called fat? You need to understand this. The fat you eat is already in the storage form of fat. Hence the name All fat. All right, so that's done with this one right now. 51 bananas that that in a day. Bananas today is because- She must have gotten fat, right? Bananas. I'm here about oh, nope, she didn't get fat. And she was 40 some whatever pounds overweight. I wonder why she didn't gain it back and all this calories. Figure it out. One banana after my run this morning, and I'm gonna hit some more bananas. Oh, later. it's probably because all she does is bike ride and run. That's probably what it is, right? So we'll see how many I can have. 
have maybe 40, 50 today, maybe 30. We'll see how we go. See you next meal. 40 bananas in a smoothie with coconut water and vanilla drops, about 2,000 calories for breakfast. Berman would be freaking out. Hey, free best. So I just it's, it's crazy, too, because I didn't see her mention, like, taking Furman's supplements. I mean, <laughs> how could she do it, you know? I'm from Iran, and I'm about to have breakfast. I'm going to go for 15 to 20 bananas for mm. this breakfast. All right, so here we go. I'm going to peel them all and show you them going into the blender. I've got some coconut water. I'm going to put that in there. Asked. That is the one thing that I, I wish I would have asked during Ryder when I interviewed him is how he managed to fit 20 some odd bananas in a, a blender at one time. I can I just can't seem to do it. We have 15 so and the bananas too big. Far, so take a look at this. That is a full blender. 15 bananas. And with some coconut water. Not too much liquid or it's gonna fill me up. Some hazelnut drops. Please. All right. I think I got my point across. I think this is a long enough video. I've rambled on long enough. People get really irritated when I ramble sometimes. But, uh, I mean, you know, if you want to do the Furman thing, great. Um, you know, have fun with your binges. Have fun with the gas. Have fun with, you know, taking the supplements just to get past, uh, past through the day. Have fun with that caffeine uh, highs and lows. I mean, have fun with all that if, you, if that's your thing. But... Um, is not mine. So at least, I, you know, here's the information. Do what you want with it. Um, yep. Talk to you next time. C c questions, comments, all that down below. Like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.